back again to the Peugeot 208 and this is part two of the video but first and foremost I want to give a big thank you to all who chimed in in this video to help me out it was much appreciated and especially there to Scott Barnsdale Scott I believe you're a Peugeot tech now the bit of information he gave me about this engine the TSB and the numbers and the version and the addition that was invaluable so then made the call to go and get the software updated and uh, here's the rest of the video but once again thank you to all those who contributed right so here's an update for everyone so the car is back after being put on a uh, the Peugeot software and I think we have a result you want to start the car Ronnie? Uh, yeah. we've got our battery tested on it and now you can see we're reading 12.61 volts and we're now reading 14.09 0.09 volts and as you can see the alternator is plugged in just better off again Roddy so the car is the key still on my man so the car has been fixed so what we'll do is I'll show you this in here so we get just got this back we just thought I wonder what codes are in it so there's still this Linfault 21 and air condition but that was always there anyway so no unless the codes have never been cleared out but what we'll do we'll, we'll enter in and we'll look at the software update on it so version information so software 96 917 is that the one that's been updated i think is that different i think that may be different but we'll take a screenshot put it in the video and we'll go back out that's the bsi i'm sure in the engine we need 0207 so the engine's clear. So version information. 0208 now. So we'll take a picture of that. So you see that's 0208. It was 0202 before. 46. Ver Aye, that's verted 46. Did it? Supplier 06. So I remember I also went into what was it? Special function. Downloading. Identification repair. Download date. There we go. 22, it was last downloaded. There's the calibration files. Number of downloads, 2, that was one the last time. Version 46. There we go. So, that's what was required. So, remember I had said to you, this car had been spent two weeks at the main dealer and never been fixed. Well, here's a story for you. I phoned the main dealer who had this car and what they said to me, this is unbelievable. I said, did you, what software did you use on the Peugeot? He says, Oh, to tell you the truth, we've actually not got any software. I said, oh, right. He says, yes, we're just a new Peugeot garage. He says, we used to be something else. I think it was Hyundai. He says, but just the other week there, we moved to Peugeot and their systems have never been updated. So, the guys in the workshop have lent, ended, uh, ended up with this without absolutely no training or very little training at all. So, there, therein lies the problem. The software was never updated, which created all this rigmarole. So you can never tell, but I'm not blaming them. We're all in the same situation. <laughs> Everybody's complaining exactly the same. So I think we can wrap that one up, Rodeo. Right right. Oh, then we're going to take a, a signal like that, scope signal like that, and we'll see if it, if it looks any different. So after clearing the codes and running the car again, that code still comes back, the U1F1B, but we're all clear of any other information. But here's an interesting thing. You see that we've got a Lin bus signal there. But I can't really tell the difference between what's slave and what's master, so there's maybe no any difference. So that's in a 20 millisecond time frame. Let's go to 10. Let's go to 5. No. Good enough. Anyway, it's a fix, and all it requires is an ECU reflash software update. Cheers. So with this with this car running. I went into the LIN, the LIN 2 on the BCI and it still says invalid and things like that. So, the only way I think you can detect this is just by looking at the software. There's absolutely nothing else in this to give you a direction. No. And as I say, the only one that comes back, oops, there's read fault codes. So it's still there, so it doesn't clear the fault. So it must be a patch. Right, we've had enough. Next job ready. Right.